With everything going on, we are realizing how important our data is and how important it is to keep it safe. A lot of these companies profit off of your data. Remember, if it is free, you are most likely the product. And right now, we don't have that much regulation in place that actually protects users. I'm gonna talk about five different alternatives that you can use in order to keep your data safe while online. This is Build With Joy, where in each video, I break down technology, society, and how to start building. And I'm your host, Joy Valerie. Every day we use tools that are free, like WhatsApp, Facebook, Google, and even Zoom. And a lot of us might not really realize how they're free. They're able to be kept this way because they will sell your data. They sell them to advertisers and other people looking to buy that user information to understand your behavior, your buying habits. And currently there is a lot of talk about law enforcement being able to use this data. There is not a lot of policy in place right now protecting user information. I'm gonna give you five free alternatives that you can use to secure your privacy. So one alternative to WhatsApp that is owned by Facebook, and Facebook is essentially an advertising platform. And you might say, how does she know this? No, it's all crap. I have worked in advertising technology for the last seven years. I have been buying, selling, and trafficking data and campaigns. So I am telling you, this is legit. If something is free, you are the product. Signal is a really awesome alternative to WhatsApp. It works very similarly, so much so that WhatsApp actually built on top of it. So if you are used to using WhatsApp, you can just switch over to Signal and use your telephone number just as you would to WhatsApp. The other thing is it is a nonprofit organization dedicated to privacy and you can send disappearing messages to your friends and they are double end encrypted. That essentially means only you and whoever you sent it to gets the message. You can't even try to open it if you switch another phone, you, all your messages are gone. It is only on that one device. Another alternative is DuckDuckGo as a search engine. I know that we're very used to Googling it and it is a lot easier to find answers, but you can actually use DuckDuckGo instead. And DuckDuckGo will not save any of your searches. So essentially that means that they cannot sell your search history to other advertisers. That is how Google makes their money. They sell your data and they also target you with advertising. They make money off of affiliate links that they might put on the top and disclose, but only in that one search. They are not targeting you over and over again. You can easily switch your search engine to DuckDuckGo.com in your settings, and I will show you how to do that in another video. Cool, but everything we do revolves around Google. And yes, that's true. Google is essentially a giant advertising company. That is how they make most of their revenue. They even owned YouTube. So, hey, thanks. And as cool as Google is, and there's a lot of cool products, I strongly believe that all of your data should not live in one place and be available and owned by one company. So if you want to find an alternative for your email, instead of using a Gmail, you can use Proton. This email service is absolutely free and it is encrypted. It is based off of Swiss. It is based in Switzerland. And you can set an account really easily on protonmail.com. It is secure email. The only downside is it does not offer the full suite of products like setting up a Gmail account. If you've ever noticed, if you log into your Gmail, you will start seeing ads on top of your email that are pretty spot on. Now a lot of us are home more and we are video chatting with our friends, family, and for business. Welcome to my life. Zoom has been under scrutiny for security issues. Zoom is only encrypted on their paid plans. So an alternative that you can use for free, an alternative that you can use for free is Jitsi. Jitsi is open source and you can build really cool stuff with it if you want. It also allows you to easily download or just use in browser and set up a meeting right away. They are powered by 8x8, so that is another video platform if you want an alternative to free, secure video chats. And the last thing that I will talk about is 
browsers. So a lot of us use Google Chrome or Safari. However, all of those browsers are collecting our user data. If you are looking for an alternative, you can use Brave Browser. A lot of publishers, aka websites that are making awesome content actually run off of ad revenue or membership models. A lot of people do not end up paying for membership models. That being said, I have a membership, so plug for myself if you wanna keep learning and learn with me every week. So if you wanna support your awesome creators, awesome publishers where you get your information online, you can use Brave Browse. Using Brave, you actually will get paid in cryptocurrency, a basic attention coin, bat coin for short, where essentially you can get paid for using the browser and you can decide if you want that money to go to your favorite creators, publishers, websites online. And that way you are, you have power over what you see and it is tailored to you. They are not collecting your information. And this is not through collecting your information. You can check out more about them. There you have it. There are five tools that you can use. However, the biggest thing that you can do is fill out your census this year. It is a census year and you can do that at mycensus2020.gov and you can vote in the elections. As technology is growing exponentially, it is more important now than ever to have policymakers that actually care about our user privacy. So keep being loud, keep communicating with each other, and keep ensuring that we have a protected internet for all. So make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, follow, share, comment below, and let me know what more you want to learn. This is Build With Joy. I'm Joy Valerie, and until next time, let's keep building!